earlier I had abruptly ended this video in the middle of uh, step six. Unfortunately there was a problem with that and I went ahead and finished the activity. So for the remaining steps six through eleven I'm just going to talk about them here on the computer. So what I did there was I saved my editable file as slay underscore default. And see it is on my desktop now. It's right here. On your computer with CS6 on the PC, you would have had the extension .fw.png. I don't want to get into a discussion because um, it'll be a little bit off topic as to why my extension is just .png on the Mac with, with CS5, but um, anyway, we'll just move past that. The next item uh, was saving it in its optimized format, in this case, the GIF. I found this out by using my 2-up or 4-up panel. This it said that I wanted the file format that was most appropriate for this and that it should also be able to download in less than one second. Well, I know that the GIF is most appropriate for this because I have large, solid areas of color. And when I go ahead and use the optimized panel to look at the GIF, I see that, in fact, that is the case. So I would have gone ahead and saved this in the GIF file format. When I go over to Dreamweaver, a few things to point out. First of all, I can change my background color using page properties in the property inspector. If you're missing your property inspector or any other panels that you need, you can access them under the window menu. To add images, I simply go to insert and then select image, then navigate to my images. On this particular copy of the exam, I wanted to add my PNG file format first, followed by the GIF. Uh, that was just dictated by the instructions here that said to add the original, the default, and then the modified uh, image on, a, on an additional line. At this point I would now go ahead and save my files, my HTML file, excuse me, and I would go ahead and upload both the fw.png, the GIF, and the HTML file all to Blackboard. When you save your HTML file, we want to make sure that we don't use uppercase letters, special characters, or spaces. Now, we want to avoid all of that on file names that are um, designed for the web. So I would go ahead and save this in lowercase letters with no special characters or spaces and upload all of my material. I'm going to go ahead and end the video now.